Hey guys, what's happening? My name is Andre Kreitzbrooks. Choosing good product to sell on Amazon. Three main beginners criteria in this video, guys. A very quick five to seven minute video you need to see and watch till the end so you guys understand what exact things you need to pay attention to when selecting a profitable item to sell on Amazon. Okay, once again, guys, my name is Andre Kreitzbrooks. Thank you so much for landing on my YouTube video. And make sure to hit that like button, guys, right now. This is super important so I can be pumping out more content for you guys guys and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel this is equally important and also comment word guide right now below this video in the comments and i will send you my step-by-step -step guide to start selling on amazon right away comment word guide and i'll send you my new tutorial okay guys let's go so what are the three main criteria that we have to follow when choosing a right profitable item okay so this is a profitable item here by the way that we're buying for 35 dollars from walmart it's selling back on Amazon for, we're going to just take a look, this suppressed listing. There will be a quick bonus, guys, that I will tell you about at the end of this video as well. So free criteria plus the bonus at the end. So if you look at the seal buying options, you see this item is selling for $67.95 and the lowest seller, lowest FBA seller is $75.88, okay? So if you go by the lowest FBA seller, we're making a really, really crazy profit here, $35 and we're making $75, so we're making $20.25. This tool here is it's called seller amp by the way i will leave all the links guys below this video speaking about the links guys if you're looking for a mentorship program i do have fb mastery available that's my uh, full-time program fb mastery program in english as well as i offer a school of amazon that's my intense program you can also check out the links below this video guys that yeah my school of amazon is a program that i launch like three four times per year so if it's available it's available if it's not available then yeah fb mastery is the one you can always grab and become a member of my mentoring community okay so yeah uh, we do have this ninja kids um, mystery ball so what are the three criteria we're paying attention to okay so the first thing that we pay attention to when we flipping products on amazon um i want to look at the rating straight away as soon as i see the product i do kind of glance at the rating without even doing the in-depth research and like choosing all the other criteria i'm going to talk about okay so if you look at the ratings here 54 ratings and you look at the overall stars so make sure that the overall stars are anywhere over like 3.5 and above better if it's like four out of five just to make sure the product is not going to be causing us any customer service issues in terms of like a product quality because one way is selling a product fast one way is selling a product for a profit but if the customers are not happy with the actual item and is actually getting us into trouble then we better stay away from those kind of products and we better be like avoiding those type of you know items okay just to give you a quick example guys i've opened up a random item here like this one here it has free ratings only and if you look at the stars it has only 2.9 so it has a pretty bad feedback i mean it has one star feedback and there's a couple i think two four star feedback so yeah it's not doing great it hasn't hit a single five star feedback but overall is 2.9 out of five does not mean you cannot go and potentially resell this item well speaking about this item it actually sells only two times per month but it's also better to avoid those kind of low rating type of products that's just my advice okay so the first great we're looking at the ratings the stars straight away just as an overall observation the second criteria guys that we're looking at which is super important okay we're going to scroll down right now we'll look at the sales rank of a product okay so right here we have a product information over here and we have a sales rank best sellers ranking seventy five thousand eight hundred fifty one in toys and games okay what does this mean okay so we have a you know the category called toys and games okay and um, obviously, in each category on Amazon, there is a specific number of products, okay? Common Kitchen is one of the biggest categories out there. Toys and Games is also pretty big, okay? So how to know exact quantity there is in each category on Amazon, I'll show you right now, okay? So if you look at the Amazon sales rank chart over here, okay? This is just a, a website link I'm going to send you guys below this video as well. It's free. If you're going to scroll down, there is a sales rank for US. There's sales rank for Canada. There's sales rank for Mexico, for UK market as well. I think they added Germany as well and a few more other marketplaces as well, like Japan which is pretty cool. So um, if you're gonna scroll down, scroll up, okay, this is a US product we're sourcing from Walmart. If you look at the toys and games in US, so here's, here's the um, US Amazon sales rank chart. If you look at the uh, toys and games right at the bottom over here, so toys and games, if you just, I'm just gonna highlight this for you guys so you can see it, okay? So the total number of products, you can see this total here, I'm gonna move myself up a little bit. So a total column here, the total number of products in the toys is 8,566,946. If you look at the top 3%, top 1% and top 0.5%, basically, you want to be going in those top 3%, top 1% or top 0.5%, okay? Better stay under 1%. You can stay under 3% and sometimes, I even tell you as a secret, guys, we are selling products under 5% of the sales rank, okay? So the lower the number is of the actual ranking 
of the actual ranking, like toys and, like, of the category, like toys and video games, for example. Okay, we have toys and sorry, toys and games here. Okay, eight million five hundred sixty-six thousand. That's the total number. So we have a top three percent here, which is two hundred fifty-seven thousand. Top one percent is. 85,669. We believe that our product was 75,000. So this product actually goes uh, under 1% of the category. The lower the number is, the better the selling item is. So you look at the ranking as a second thing, okay? So you want to make sure it's selling. Also, our tool here, uh, Seller Ramp, is showing us how many sales this item does per month. It's showing 51 sales per month, which is not so fast, but it's also not a dead product. It does about maybe one or two sales per day, which is fine considering the profit it makes insane profit it makes okay so yeah it does 51 sales per month okay so the third criteria we're looking at after looking at the sales rank we're going to scroll down uh, here and we click see all buying options we're looking at competition remember guys there's one bonus coming at the end as well so that you guys um you know just keep waiting i'll show you guys i'll tell you about the bonus as well okay this is really important guys if you're just starting out on amazon okay here we got the competition so what competition are we considering okay we click filter and you look at the prime fba sellers this is the typical com uh, typical competition we are looking at when comparing the actual products and whether gonna whether we're gonna go and sell it or not okay so click prime and you look at the free there's free only free fba sellers so there's one seller here two free so there's three sellers you're gonna be the fourth seller what exactly do you do so you estimate the monthly sales it does 51 and you divide that by four 51 divided by four is about 14 13 yeah about 13 sales per um per uh, in 30 days per seller so you probably can get about 10 units of this item from walmart and you can expect them to sell in about 30 days of time okay so those are the three main criteria we're looking at okay we look at the reviews look at the sales rank and look at the competition to estimate how many sales um you're gonna get so we know how much we're gonna be sending into amazon guys by the way if you're learning smash that like button right now guys and make sure to subscribe to this youtube channel guys this is super important and don't forget to comment word guide below this video guys guide g u y uh, G U I D E. Okay, you can spell the Y if you really want to as well, guys. Okay, and the bonus way, guys, if you are looking at the listing, try to stay away from suppressed listings like this because they typically make less sales. So that this one here, it does make sales, but if you had a buy box, suppressed listing basically means that the item does not have a buy box. Like here, see all buying options. It's called suppressed listing. Typically, Amazon does this to the products that are selling over the price like this one here, that's why it's making such a high profit. If an item had a buy box, uh, like this one here, this is what the buy box looks like. You see, out to cart. Then it typically will make bigger sales if it has a buy box, okay? So better stay away from the actual suppressed listings to begin with. But if you're sure, if you want to test something out, like for like if I were you, I would definitely buy two, three units of this one, send it in and try it out, okay? That's my advice, okay? But this is just as an example, of course, prior to doing all the other research on the product as well. This was the three main criteria for beginners Amazon sellers. We do look at other things as well, like we study the keeper, we look at the price history, look at the buy box statistics, we check the variations, we check other things as well, we check the stock count and etc. we check the offers. There are more things we check, but those are the basic three criteria you gotta be looking at when you're actually selecting a profitable item to sell on Amazon, guys. Okay, hopefully this video was useful. Just wanted to make this real quick, just to show you guys, give you guys a bit of a support. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and don't forget to comment word guide. And let me guys know where you're all watching from. If you have any questions, please let me know, guys, in the comments. The same principle applies if you're doing it for UK as well. Same stuff, nothing is different. Okay, guys, thank you once again for watching this video. And don't forget to check out the links, guys, below this video in the description. Join my Telegram channel, guys, it's super important. And don't forget to check out my FB Mastery program or School of Amazon, depending which one you want to go and join if you're looking for a mentorship or something, guys. All right, thank you guys once again. I'll speak to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.